Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. So there's a segment that I've had on this channel for a number of years now. I usually call it something along the lines of rich people are buying up all the Bitcoin and normal people aren't paying attention. But I think that that's part of the plan, at least in the background with all the rich people who are trying to make sure that they get all the Bitcoin while prices are still relatively low. Uh, recently, it has been in the news that there have been a number of companies who've been buying large amounts of Bitcoin. Usually, it's MicroStrategy, who's the one who's buying up huge amounts of Bitcoin. For those of you who don't know MicroStrategy, MicroStrategy is a company uh, who basically buys up tens of thousands of Bitcoin seemingly every three months or so. They usually also uh, issue debt to be able to buy the Bitcoin. Bitcoin's price goes up, they pay off the debt, and then they have a whole bunch of Bitcoin. Uh, normally, we do not normally hear about a lot of companies within the cryptocurrency space, like in the cryptocurrency space, who are also buying up tons of Bitcoin as well. Keeping in mind, there are only I got to keep saying it only 21 million Bitcoin out there. A lot of people keep forgetting this. A lot of people, for some reason, believe that there are billions and billions of Bitcoin out there. And that's not how it actually works. We also got news recently. It was in one of my most or other recent videos, something on this channel uh, around, I believe, 80 percent. That is eight zero percent of all the Bitcoin out there are now being held by the uh, richest people and richest wallets on the planet. Basically, they've been accumulating nonstop over the last four, five, six, seven years and have not stopped accumulating tons of Bitcoin. And this was just a metric for addresses that hold over 100 Bitcoin plus. They now they now have in, in their possession over 80% of all the actual circulating Bitcoin that is also not including uh, people who have less than 99 Bitcoin. What? That's crazy, right? I'm sure many people have less than 99 Bitcoin. They also hold a large portion of it as well. Moving on to the actual story that we're going to be talking about, Tether. Yeah, the people who make the stablecoin, also called Tether, recently announced that they now are in possession of... 1,529 BTC. They announced this relatively recently. Why is this significant? Well, because once again, there are 8 billion people on the planet. <laughs> there are only 21 million Bitcoin. It is believed that around 5 to 6 million Bitcoin are lost and gone forever. We've gone over that before as well. It has to do with old computers, people throwing out their computers, losing their passwords, you name it. It's been a very long time since Bitcoin has been around and now we're constantly hearing of these companies who are basically buying up all the bitcoin and i make these videos to tell you and let you understand exactly what's going on so that in the couple of years if cryptocurrency prices have gone up dramatically especially for bitcoin's price we're now getting price estimates of anywhere from one hundred and fifty thousand to three hundred thousand to half a million dollars by the year 2025 I want everyone to be aware of why it actually ended up happening. Tether also announced uh, that they are going to be buying Bitcoin every quarter. That is to say, there are usually four quarters in a dollar, but also in a year. They announced that they're going to be using 15%, 1-5% of their profits that they make from the stablecoin Tether to buy more Bitcoin. This is another company who has openly announced they are going to be buying massive amounts of Bitcoin. Once again, gotta say it, if everyone out there was able to equally have an equal amount of Bitcoin, the equal number is believed to be 0 0.003 BTC per person on the planet. So Tether essentially, Every three months is going to be buying up thousands, tens of thousands of uh, Bitcoin that other people will no longer ever be able to actually acquire. Not that it's like, a, you know, necessarily a negative thing, but I just want people to understand exactly what's going on. I have a lot of friends who've recently been talking about trying to get back into the cryptocurrency space. I see the I see the beginning of the of the rumblings of 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 the of the bear market. It's cyclical. It's always the exact same thing. People decide that they want to get back into the market. They are curious about the market. Should I start putting money back into the market? This, this entire thing, that, these conversations that I end up having with my friends, and I always make sure to let them know that uh, their last two years when they were not buying, uh, rich people were. 
and they have a huge amount of Bitcoin. And I've and I and I and I've even heard something along the lines of like, well, well, that's not fair. And it's like, well, they're they're buying because they believe at some point Bitcoin is going to go over a million dollars. The time frame for that is believed to be around 2032 and the next, next, next halving. And therefore, if they see something that's around twenty five to thirty thousand dollars that they believe can go to a million dollars, they're going to be buying as much of it as they possibly can. As always, uh, the articles of what I'm talking about, uh, talking about <laughs> it was in English, are going to be in the description below for all of you to be able to read as well. So you understand the gravity of the situation that, as I've been saying for years, Rich people are literally buying all the Bitcoin. 80%. I want you to understand that. Think of think of the lull that we've had in the market, in world markets. 80%. Do you think that's going to stay at 80%? It's probably going to go to 85% over the course of the next couple of years as well until the thing that I've been predicting for a, a number of years. I think that rich people are going to literally own all of the Bitcoin at some point. And then that's going to be another discussion that we're going to have to have together because, yeah, I do sincerely hope that you have all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, great morning, great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.